Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros, I'm Ryan, and today we are going to show you how to dispose of waste oil properly. It is absolutely essential to the environment that we dispose of waste oil in a proper and legal fashion in accordance to the EPA. This could be done at any major auto parts distributor, but you may be asking yourself, how do you get your oil from your garage to the oil parts distributor like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or any mom and pop place that sells oil legally has to take refuse oil. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what I have here is a Roundup uh, poison container. I got this at Home Depot. I used all the, uh, the weed herbicide here and it's empty. I cleaned it out. It is completely devoid of any kind of poison or anything. It's just a big plastic container. That's what you're looking for. You can even use like a bleach bottle or, or uh, maybe a laundry detergent bottle. Just make sure it's clean and the only thing that's in it is oil itself. You want a big container and to me the most important part is a sealable top so it doesn't spill and go all over the place. If you have a truck maybe that's not such an issue um, but I don't and a lot of people don't. So we need to get our oil from our pan here into this nice big sealable container and I have a funnel for that. Very nice. So we're gonna take our refuse oil that we just got from a oil change uh, fairly recently and we're just gonna dump it into this nice sealable container. Some oil pans or oil catch basin, basins I should say uh, are sealable. Those are really nice ones. Uh, mine's not because I like the fact of how wide, how open the mouth is on this particular container I have. Uh, it makes catching oil uh, better chances. <laughs> so it results in much less spillage. So there we go. Make sure you wear gloves when you do this as well. It's, it's just a good idea when you're working with oil, period, just to wear gloves. Uh, you don't want those poisons and toxins getting into your skin because uh, you can absorb things through the pores in your skin and it's just not healthy. I don't, I don't advise it. So now that that is dealt with, we can put the top back on our container and now it's ready for transport. We can take it to uh, any major parts dealer and they should be able to take it for us, so let's go do that. Okay, so here is the trunk of the car we're going to be transporting our waste oil in. Now, I'm also gonna lay down a trash bag here to prevent any kind of uh, little dribbles or drops or things you can't quite see, but will show up once they get into the carpet. Now here is our box of goodies. I put it in a cardboard box here that'll also help with absorbing stuff, some oil. So there's oil in this container here and there's automatic transmission fluid in this. They also have to take this. This is waste automatic transmission fluid. It is also considered hazardous waste and must be handled properly. But now that we have a trash bag down, everything's looking pretty good. Before we take off though, I'm going to push it all the way to the front of the trunk here. That way when you uh, hit the brakes, it won't all go forward all at once. And then just drive gingerly. Uh, I'm not going to really secure it with anything else. You can if you want to, you can kind of barricade it and make sure it's not going to move. But since it's in a sealed container, I'm pretty confident nothing bad's going to happen to it. So now we can go to uh, any kind of auto parts store, anywhere that sells oil. I'm going to be going to an O'Reilly's. Okay, so here's my refuse oil. It moved around a little bit in the trunk, but that's okay. So I am at O'Reilly's. I do not know their filming policy, so I'm not gonna push it. Some companies are cool, some aren't, and that's okay. So all, all I'm gonna do is go in and say I have some refuse oil that needs to be disposed of and uh, they should take it for me. And that's it. I thank you so much for watching. It really is that easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, it's super simple. It protects the environment and it is the law, at least in California. I'm pretty sure it's the law everywhere though. Uh, it is at least in this state and it should be everywhere. You don't want to pollute the environment with your refuse oil. I thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video from us and I will see you next time.